Good morning, this is Crystal Woods with Seasons in the Vine and it's Fresh Friday. And today's Fresh Friday is for all the chain breakers out there. <laughs> for all of those who are coming against the history of their families and the generations before and coming against the condition of their cultures where they grew up and standing for God. I was at a uh, ministry house this morning and that's where this Fresh Friday came about. I had another one planned out and written out and then I was like, man, this is so, so good. I'm actually at this ministry house. It's filled with people that are breaking the chains of addiction and bondage and things that have gone on in their family lines and in their history and yet they want to make a, a shift and serve God and serve God alone. And in that they are breaking chains. And so I want to talk about those Hebrew boys again. That's where this came from. Somebody brought up the reality that persecution is promised to those who follow Jesus. And so when we're persecuted, we should count it as a joy and actually rejoice that we are uh, counted worthy to suffer for Christ. And this woman was talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, which made me think about that Fresh Friday I did a couple months ago on those Hebrew boys and Daniel as well where Daniel is thrown into the lion's den because he's not going to stop praying to the living God. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are thrown into the fiery furnace because they're not going to bow down to an idol. They're not going to do idolatrous worship. So you see where I'm going here, maybe a little bit. I talked about how there's a really popular song right now. And it's just a song to me that it kind of speaks of compromise where it's like, uh, we're counting on God to get us out of the lion's den or out of fiery furnaces. But those people were actually thrown into them. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were actually thrown into those places out of obedience, not disobedience, not something they did in their flesh, but actually because they were choosing to obey God, they were standing for God and not for the idolatry and the compromise that was going on where they were living. So that's what I was calling out on the first Fresh Friday. But what really popped into my mind today as this woman brought up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is this. These people, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, would have been like chain breakers. That's a current phrase that we use, but they would have been like chain breakers because so good. Okay, you got to know your history. Why were they there in Babylon? How did Judah, which was the southern kingdom of Israel, end up in Babylon in exile for 70 years? What sin were they being disciplined by God for committing? What did they do wrong? They bowed to idols. They served other gods. They committed apostasy. They rejected the living God and worshiped false gods. They worshiped other things. Now let's think about those Hebrew boys. So they are living in a foreign land. They are in Babylon. The whole nation of Judah, the Southern kingdom of Israel is exiled to Babylon for 70 years. They are being disciplined by God because they will not stop worshiping idols but there is always a group in a whole group of disobedient people in a family line that struggles with the same sin over and over and over and over again there's always going to be a people a person that's going to say just because my dad my mom my grandparents so and so 10 generations back just because my race my gender, just because my country, my nation, where I grew up, does it like this, just because my church has done it like this, doesn't mean I'm going to do it like this. Because if I don't see it lining up with his word, then I'm going to stand for God and his word, no matter how many before me have not chosen to do that. Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are in Babylon because their people, their nation, their families, their forefathers, their relatives have sinned against God by bowing and worshiping idols. And God has it and he sends them off to Babylon. 
But while in Babylon, they are told they have to co continue to commit idolatry. And these men say, no, we will not. That is the chain breaking. That's what we see when somebody in our own day and age, or maybe it's you, maybe it's me, that says, just because this has always been a thing for us, it's not going to be a thing for us anymore. What they did was wrong, but we're living for God and we're going to live for what God says is allowed. And he says, we can't bow a knee to a false God. We can't bow a knee to anything or being any statue. We only bow our knee to the living God, Yahweh Elohim. So exciting. So that's really what hit me today was they would have really stood out in a stark contrast because the whole reason they're even in Babylon is because of the idolatry. And they're saying, you know what? Yeah, we have a history of doing it and our people have done it, but, but we're not going to do it. We're not going to be the ones to do it. So this is for you chain breakers out there. Those who are saying, yeah, this runs in my family, but it stops with me. I met Jesus and I'm going to live for the Lord. And just because we've done it this way, this way, or that way, we're not doing it anymore. I'll tell you some of the chains that have come off in my life that my kids are not under. Praise God. People pleasing. We'll just keep it there. People pleasing. Having to do what somebody else wants us to do for them and what God is not actually saying for us to do. People pleasing. That's one thing that broke off. And there's many, many, many others. What are you breaking off in your family line and in your history and out of your culture? Just because they've always done it that way doesn't actually mean it's the right way. It doesn't actually mean it's God's way. And even though Daniel is a Hebrew boy and the Hebrews have consistently fallen into idolatry. He and the other boys in two different situations or different stories, fiery furnace, Daniel den or the lion's den. They choose not to be like their own people and worship something or someone or some being or some idol other than the living God. So good. So just wanted to leave that with you today, that extra connection. This is for the chain breakers out there. Keep being like Daniel. You're not getting thrown into the lion's den because you're not living for God. You're actually being thrown in the lion's den because you are. And chain breakers do hit that resistance, but keep breaking those chains and keep living for Jesus. I'll see you next week.